Did you know that over 5 million people visit the Grand Canyon every year? Less than 5% of those people go below the rim, and less than 1% spend the night in the canyon. When I decided that I was going to go to the Grand Canyon, I knew that I wanted to experience something more than just looking over the edge of the rim. Here is my story of our four-day trek in the Grand Canyon. So during spring break, my friend Logan and I traveled to the Grand Canyon to do some backpacking. So we finally arrived in Gallup, New Mexico, and we're in Red Rock Park right now. Um, I'm extremely tired because we drove all night long and I still haven't had any sleep yet, but I still wanted to get some cool pictures and video before I take some shut eye. So today's kind of a rejuvenation day. We're going to get rested up, get ready for tomorrow, and then head out on the trail. That next morning, we were pumped. We were so excited to start our hike into the Grand Canyon. We entered the east entrance and headed towards Grandview Point. After 18 hours, on the minute to the trailhead, we're about to go hike all the way down to Cottonwood Creek here. The trail we're doing today is about seven miles. Um, total mileage of this trip, about 35, a little over that. And we're gonna be doing this for four days. Um, really excited. The sea already of the views I've seen is insane, so let's go. those first few miles we dropped over 3,000 feet and what was crazy as we continued to drop lower in the canyon the weather changed and the fog started to creep in it actually blocked our view for a little bit and then crept back out we're starting to get to a point where we feel that we're lost in the mouth of the Grand Canyon Everywhere we see is more walls of red granite and amazing rock uh, formations. We made our way towards an area called Horseshoe Mesa, and this area, believe it or not, is actually the remains of an old mining camp. The building that we saw was an old cook shack for the miners back in the mining days. As we continued to Cottonwood Creek, the weather became overcast. We didn't think much of it at the time. So, finally found our first puddle. For those at home, thinking that we weren't gonna survive. We just proved you wrong. So uh, now we're gonna get down to the campground and if there's no more water at Cottonwood, 
We'll have to come back up. We were about a quarter mile away from Cottonwood, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this rainstorm comes in. Our first response was get to a place where we can set up camp and have a little bit of shelter. So we're running through the rain, and we finally find a shelter, an area that we can camp for the night. We put up our tents real quick. I wasn't really thinking, and I didn't put my cover over my pack, so a lot of my stuff got wet. Now I am in my tent, just finished setting it up, and I'm soaked. My, most of my gear is wet. Most of my clothes are wet, and my sleeping bag is about halfway wet. The only thing that's not wet is my sleeping pad and the clothes I have on now, which I just changed, which were only uh, dry clothes. So hopefully the rain will stop eventually and I can cook some food for now. I'm just eating some snacks and uh, just reflecting on all the beauty that I had seen today. So. So uh, last night I only got about two hours of sleep, I would say, because the wind, and it's still blowing pretty hard, the wind was blowing so hard, I felt like I um, was about to fly away. Like that, that's how hard it was blowing. It was 40 to 50 mile an hour winds gusting, and we're kind of over a hill, and we're still getting the wind. Okay, it, was, it was crazy. So this morning, Hoping to get some good breakfast coming up soon. And we're gonna pack up and try to get some miles today. So, yeah, so far it's been quite an adventure. It was hard to comprehend that we had just spent a night in the Grand Canyon. Our destination, Grapevine Creek, roughly six miles away. So we're here about halfway, and we finally got our first view of the Colorado River. Right there, so it's an amazing view right here. Um, looks a lot better in person, I have to say. I really can't capture just how amazing it looks right now, but it's just so beautiful. Okay guys, we finally made it to Grapevine. Um, it's about six miles to get here. And this campsite is a lot prettier than last night, which was Cottonwood. Right now, it's perfect weather. Feels like 55 degrees. The sun is nice and warm. There's not really any rain in sight or snow, which I'm thankful for. And the views are really cool. So I'm really excited. I'm taking some time lapses and stuff. We're gonna get set up soon and maybe get some food.
Of all the places we camped, Grapevine was my favorite. So I'm sitting here at camp number two. Tonight I'm gonna eat a full course breakfast meal. I've got breakfast skillet, some oatmeal. I also plan on possibly making some coffee. So I didn't get much of a breakfast this morning. That's one reason why I was really craving breakfast on the hike today. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals, so that's another reason why, but yeah. We are super dehydrated. I've got one spoon here. One left. One little spoon. Yeah, about to go to sleep. So.